you know, we used to do an exercise with people who were carrying a whole lot of burdens and stresses and everything else. Um, they would put them in a backpack. That backpack would be on their back and they would be weighed down by it. But then they would take the backpack off, including everything that was in it, and then give it to Jesus or give it to the Father. And that would be a conscious decision to lay that down so that he then will carry the weight of that. I mean, Jesus said, all those who are weary and heavy laden or burdened, come to me and find rest. So that's the first step. You're already wanting to take the first step because you're wanting to come to him, but you acknowledge that you have been burdened or, or weary. Um, why? That is, I think, what it's good to come to an acknowledgement about and hand that over. So this is why I'm feeling tired. This is why I'm feeling burdened. This is the stresses that are in my life right now. Are there relationship issues? Are there financial issues? What are the issues that are actually causing me to feel stressed and are causing my mind not to be able to focus? And acknowledge them and hand them to him. And then just lie down in his presence. You don't have to do anything, say anything. Just be there and let him take the lead. Let him speak to you rather than you trying to speak to him. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't have a conversation because obviously the relationship is two way. But in the time when you're looking to just get to a point where it's easier to hear his voice than surrendering at that moment and not saying, oh, oh my problem is a moment I can't hear his voice because then you're focusing on the problem rather than the solution. It's like in everything in my life, when I've think well i am i want to present myself as a living sacrifice to him he then as my high priest will prepare me whatever i need whatever's going on in my life i don't have to try and fix myself or sort out these problems i'm allowing him i'm surrendering to trusting him and i think a lot of the issues that we have are the things that are in our mind are there in the way they are because we're not really trusting in his provision, his protection, his direction. So we're looking in some way ourselves, maybe leaning to our own understanding rather than trusting in his faithfulness. He is good. He will be at work in every situation you're going through right now to bring about good in it. So that is trusting that that's what he's doing. Therefore, resting is resting in his goodness, resting in his kindness, in his patience, in his mercy, in his love. That love is unconditional. Just learn to rest in it. You know, the little phrase that he's, he's given me over the years is to live loved. So to live in that place where we're being loved. And then from that place of being loved, then life takes on a more positive view. And then we can then look at our relationships with others from that positive view. And then we live loving. So we're expressing what we received. And I think that's a key in all these things. So rest, relax, don't strive, don't push. Just come to a place where you are going to him. His yoke is easy and his burdens light. Allow him to take the weight of anything that you're going through right now and learn from him to be gentle and humble in heart which is to come to know who you really are in that relationship with him and he will express that to you when you're in that place of rest rather than when you need to know when we need something it's hard to be at rest when you're at rest in him it's easier for him to release what we actually need if you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.